Good morning, beautiful people. Well, today is Monday, and yesterday we put out a video on our cabinets. So I really hope that you guys went and checked that out. Now, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cladding the back door. I bought some cedar for the ceiling, and I'm going to use that same cedar to clad the back door and the side door. This should be interesting because the cedar is super thin. So wish me luck guys. While I'm doing this, I think Faustina will be working on the bed. Now we went out on Saturday and we got some materials and I believe that we have everything that we need to work on the bed, but uh, but we'll see. Most likely we'll probably be making another trip back to Lowe's. So yeah. <laughs> well anyway guys uh thank you for coming along on this journey with us do not forget to like subscribe and share and uh we'll catch you in a few deuces okay so here's the cedar that i bought i don't know if you guys can tell but uh take a look at how thin these boards are so since i have to countersink the board so that the nail can basically lay flat uh the screw can basically lay flat on the board what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to test it first with a little scrap piece of cedar that we use for the ceiling and then I'll see how it goes. If it goes well, then that means that all the YouTube videos I saw were right on point and I am able to countersink these cedar planks and uh, we should be rocking and rolling, baby. <laughs> but if not, y'all, it's going to be all bad. I think that it is coming along really good. I have about four cedar boards up and uh, what I'm doing is I'm countersinking the boards and I'm actually pre-drilling into the van door so I can know exactly where the screws are gonna go. So let me show you how it's looking. I have to put this up first, just a second. Do, do, do. So here's what we have. I think that it's gonna come out really, really well. Okay, so now that I have marked off all my cedar planks, I'm going to countersink just so that the screw can lay flat. Now that's a countersink hole. Can you see this? Hold on. So I just made uh, countersink holes in about seven boards. I'm gonna go and put these boards up and get started on the next seven. Good morning guys, so today we're going to be installing the uh, Laguna table and it's going like right about there <laughs> in the middle so I'm going to show you what it, uh, what's inside the box and then uh, I'm going to try to figure out how to install it. Alright, so it comes with uh, sheet, plastic wedges, a fastening plate, bolts, washers and nuts. And this is how they want you to uh, mount it. Get it mounted right here now instead of over there because when you mount it over there, it can't swivel because of that top bar. But if you mount it here, it's actually able to swivel. All right now, I'm gonna use this as a template to make the holes for the base to so go right about there. Alright guys, so now this is on. I'm not finished. I still got to put two more bolts in. I'm going to show you what it's going to look like once it's over there. This is what it's going to look like once it's in. This slides into this. And then we lock it in place. Just like that. 
We have a table. Good morning, beautiful people. Hey, so welcome back to Tanaj and Tanaj. <laughs> so let me come just a little bit closer, right? Okay, so today what we're gonna be doing is we are doing the walls for the van. Now we're using the same cedar that we used on the ceiling. We also used it on a door, on the back door, and we will eventually use it on the side door. But that's the cedar that we're using for the walls. And uh, why? Because I like that cedar and uh, it's my choice. No, <laughs> no, but seriously, I really do like that cedar. And what I'm gonna do first is I am going to sand it down just a little bit and then I'll put some polyurethane on it. Let me show you, just a second. So what I'll be doing first is putting uh, polyurethane on that's not what I'll do first what I'll do first is I'll sand it down and then I'll put some polyurethane on it and then hopefully we can get the wall up today hopefully we can get the wall up today because if you guys have been looking at our past videos every time I say hopefully we'll be able to do something today it doesn't happen so why am I jinxing myself I said I don't know it's so weird right like why would you say that if you know that it usually doesn't happen hmm well, I'll continue this conversation with myself in a few, but right now, I'm about to get started. Deuces! Okay, so I wanted to stop in the middle of uh, putting this polyurethane on the boards to kind of show you what the polyurethane looks like once it goes on the boards. So this is boards that I've already glazed with polyurethane. And this is a normal board, a regular board that has not been touched by anything yet. So can you kind of see the orange tint that the poly gives the board? So here's one that, uh, that I haven't put anything on yet. And then these are the ones that have been glazed. Now I've only left this on for about, not even five minutes I've been doing this. So. You kind of see the difference between what a board looks like without polyurethane and what the boards look like with polyurethane. So enough talking guys, I have to finish. Just finished putting up all the magnets um, and now we're getting ready to put these hydraulic arms so that the doors don't slam and we're about to do that right now so so this is the stress that we're using dear blue uh, found them on Amazon there'll be a link in the uh, description down below if you need some and I don't know how many came in each box one two maybe six in a box all right guys so just got the strut on. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of dark in here, but my first gas strut installation went bad. Let's see, there you go. So I originally installed it here and here, right there. So it was wrong because it wouldn't close. It would start like right there. So I had to take it down and basically lower the arm to here and then put the arm up here. So now it closes all the way. So what I'm gonna do now is knock these out. I'm gonna do this one. So time has come. Oh, see, I haven't been on the camera all day. So time has come. We're about to uh, 
about to cut this butcher block that has been uh, it's been sitting in the corner for a while. So we got this uh, butcher block from uh, Lowe's. I don't remember the price, but uh, we'll put it down below. All right. So last time we'll see this butcher block in a whole piece. So right now, uh, Deja is measuring out the area for the stove and the sink. Picasso, baby. He's, he's being his Picasso on his doodling. Picasso. And that's where it's going. One inch of space. <clears throat> and so divided by two is a half inch, half inch on this end, half inch on uh, this end here. So right now, this is the area that's uh, marked for the stove. We're gonna have like a, looks like a four inch gap before we actually start with the sink in this area, which has not been drawn out yet. So guys, make sure if you do get a stove, make sure you guys actually measure it because the cutout is not quite the size of where it needs to be. And it could, Does it not look could mess you though? up. Like this is the part that we need to cut out, right? Right, because this is what's going to hold it, the, the lip right there. So all we're cutting out for is this lip right there. So, this is it. Supposedly, this is it. I don't know if you guys can see those lines, but Deja, I think, is ready to cut. Yep. I don't even want to be in a room when this happens. And this is... gonna be the cutout for the stove and this is gonna be the cutout for the sink. So guys there you go all four sides have been cut and now he's about to uh he's gonna put the jigsaw to basically knock off these corners and that will be the first cut for the stove. Uh -oh. <laughs> we have a winner. Good morning guys, so these videos are all over the place. Uh, we're doing lots of things. We're constantly jumping around. I know yesterday you saw me probably trying to put on the magnets and maybe one of the gas struts, but we had to jump on the butcher block and finish that off, but uh, today it's a new day and I'm going to try to finish off the rest of the gas struts for the cabinets. Um, and then we're also going to finish off the ceiling. Uh, as you can see behind me, it's halfway up. We had to take a break obviously because we're just jumping around doing different things. So, uh, so let's get started then. Now to do now is I attach the bottom arm. All I gotta do is really just snap it in. Just like that. And then I just put this arm up. It's about right there. I don't want it too high because then the door will hit the ceiling and we don't want nothing to break up there. So there you go, right there. So now I'm gonna put the top arm. And what I do here is basically just pop him in. There you go. And then I just set them down so that I can get the right height. I mark it with this little pencil. So I pull them down. Go start. Oh, start my hole right there. There you go. And then you pop him right back in place and that's it. So that's how you, uh, that's how I install these, these hinges, these hydraulics. It's pretty easy.
Good morning, beautiful people. Oh, this light is not the best. Some of y'all ugly. <laughs> it's, it's true. Don't listen to him. You are all beautiful in your own special way. <laughs> For real? Oh, this light is way better. I think you should paint. Well, hello there, beautiful. How the hell are you? <laughs> We'll Good morning, beautiful people. Hey, so welcome back to Tanaj and Tanaj. <laughs> All right, come on. Oh, shit, that ass bitch is dirty. <laughs> That's gonna be the name of the channel. Are you good with that? Some of y'all ugly, though. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god, I cracked myself up. Okay, cut. <laughs> 